Flames adjusters who haven't been working or jumping up and down right now because Hurricane Francine is on its way. This video is going to be pretty basic about what you need if you want to be able to work this hurricane or the next one. I work from home as a claims adjuster. It's a very comfortable lifestyle. I can be in an outfit like this and it's a good day. And when you work in the field, I may wear something a little bit differently. I still may have some shorts on if it's the summertime, but I may have one the polo. Now, instead of just telling you what you need, tell me what you're looking for. Do you want to be a desk adjuster or a field adjuster? The differences between the two are really just preferences. Do you like to work more? Do you like to work, work less? Do you want more consistency? Um, do you have experience? Do you not have experience? All of those can be factors. Some of you have probably done your due diligence in understanding what skills you can build, even if you don't have experience, and probably are wondering why you still haven't gotten the job. Hence, that is why you pray for times like this, because hurricanes means everybody gets more work. Adjusters, contractors, it's a snowball effect. What do you do if multiple rosters end up calling you? Or what do you do if you're just getting all rosters? Are you gonna work this storm or will you have to wait to the next storm? Some of you out there have actually worked some deployments, maybe two or three, and know that this is the one time of year that you actually might have an opportunity to use the license that you renewed. Um, but you want that to go from a temporary position to a full-time position, um, but you don't know how to do that. That may be a question on your mind too. There are dozens of scenarios which you probably don't want me to go into because you just need help with your problem. But I, I genuinely don't know what that is because every state is different, every background, everyone's experience and goals are different too. So this basic call, as I mentioned, is an overview. You have your license, right? Good. Now you need some certifications. Yeah, you can be licensed and still not get work. Some companies want you to have their certifications plus Xactimate certifications. Some companies are going to have you do a background check, which you pay for. Some of them are going to have you do a drug test. It could be hair. It could be urine. If you're on those company rosters, which are just really staffing firms, but they give it the fancy name of roster, have you done the training program that they have? Because they'll want to know what skills you lack. Want to know the number one skill people miss out on? You guessed it. Exactly me. It's hard to learn. It's hard to grasp if you've never done any measuring, if you've never drawn a diagram. For me, I have to go like wall by wall by wall by wall, even just to draw and measure a square room. Now, unlike pre-pandemic, now you can do a lot of exactimating virtually and you can do it without a license. You can even earn a little cash while you put what you learn to use. Much faster with Xactimate than you can as a claims adjuster. Here's why. If you aren't familiar, Xactimate is the software that insurance companies use to screw people. I mean, the paid people. At one time, 100% of adjusters used Xactimate. It's owned by the insurance companies. Some adjusters are lucky enough to have an opportunity, but they still don't know how to use Xactimate. And they're running claims, and they could be running more if they had somebody writing their estimates, which is what I encourage you to learn how to do. You can go on Fiverr or Udemy. Not only can you start to learn on their, those uh, platforms, but you can also start to see how much people get paid for Xactimate writing. Go ahead and get your bags packed, because when you do finally get those phone calls from the rosters, they'll want you there within 48 hours. Lastly, you want to remember that every deployment does come to an end. So take what you can, learn from it, um, but if you're looking for consistent work, learn how to build your own claims business. That's 